Hi, welcome to Fashion Right Here. So we got two different graphs right here. So what happened is Jane over here, she mentioned the weight of her kittens, okay? At the end of each month, okay? So there's a first month, second month, third month, and the fourth month, right? So she used two different graphs. One's a pictograph over here using the pictures and the other one over here using the lines, okay? So it's called a line graph. Now, it's exactly the same data, but she used a line graph and the pictograph to represent the data, okay? So the question is asking you, in which two months did the kitten grow at the same rate? Now, these results are taken at the end of the month. So if you look at the first one, right, what it means is at the end of the first month, it was one kilogram. At the end of the second month, it was two kilograms. At the end of the third month, it was three kilograms. And the fourth month, it was the five kilograms. So in order for me to see the, uh, the two months that have the same rate, if I'm looking at the line graph over here, I will be looking at the one uh, as the intervals. The two intervals will have the same slope. It's called a slope, or you can think of it as steepness, okay? So I can see that this slope right here, the steepness of the graph, is exactly the same as this steepness over here. So that means those two intervals will have the same growth, which is the same rate over here. So that's between, uh, I guess it's month number two and the month number three, okay? But it looks like it's more like a month one to month two or the month two to month three. But I think the question is probably just looking for the month two and the three, okay? So that's the answer. And same thing over here, you can see that um, the, it seems like every kitten, every little cat's head right here is one kilogram, right? So you can see that from month one to month two, you got one extra one. From two to three, you got one more of an extra, okay? So that's the same growth rate right there. One kilogram and the next month another one kilogram okay so the next question asks you which graph shows this more clearly okay for me I would think it's the line graph it's simply because uh, the line graph as long as you have the same constant growth the steepness of the graph will appear to be the same so when I look at the line graph, clearly I can see that there's two intervals right here that have the same steepness. So I personally will go for the line graph for this question, okay? So I'm going to put down the line graph right here, which is the line, the line graph. Now, some people would choose the pictograph, okay? It's not wrong to pick the pictograph because I can see that the, 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 the drawing of the kitten right here from month one to month two, you get one extra. And from the two to three, you also get another, uh, another kitten head. So clearly, you can also see that the growth of the kitten's weight, it's going to be here to here, the same growth rate right here, okay? So it really depends on, you know, your personality, your preference, pretty much. So I don't think there's a definite answer for this one, but for me to choose this one, I will go for the line graph for sure, okay? Thanks for watching.